Cancer cells are different from normal cells in how they grow, how they look, and what they do in the body. Even though cancer is common, there are actually many steps that a normal cell has to go through to become a cancerous cell. This video will explain how cancer cells and normal, healthy cells are different. It covers the basic differences between cancer cells and normal cells, like how they grow and communicate. It also goes a bit deeper, covering technical differences between normal cells and cancer cells, including how they invade tissue in the body and, hide, from cancer treatments. Basic differences between cancer cells and normal cells There are many differences between cancer cells and normal cells in non-cancerous benign or cancerous malignant tumors. The major differences between normal cells and cancer cells relate to growth, communication, cell repair and death, stickiness, and spread, appearance, maturation, evasion of the immune system, function and blood supply. Growth. Normal cells stop growing, reproducing, when enough cells are present. For example, if cells are being produced to repair a cut in the skin, new cells are no longer produced when there are enough cells present to fill the hole when the repair work is done. In contrast, cancer cells don't stop growing when there are enough cells present. Cancer cells reproduce rapidly before they have had a chance to mature. This continued replication often results in a tumor, a cluster of cancer cells being formed. Communication. Cancer cells don't interact with other cells as normal cells do. Normal cells respond to signals sent from other nearby cells that say, you've reached your boundary. When normal cells, here, these signals they stop growing. Cancer cells do not respond to these signals. Spread. Normal cells stay in the area of the body where they belong. For example, lung cells remain in the lungs. Some cancer cells may lack the adhesion molecules that cause stickiness and are able to detach and travel via the bloodstream and lymphatic system to other regions of the body. They have the ability to spread metastasize. Once they arrive in a new region, such as lymph nodes, the lungs, the liver, or the bones they begin to grow, often forming tumors far removed from the original tumor. Appearance. Under a microscope, normal cells and cancer cells may look quite different. In contrast to normal cells, cancer cells often exhibit much more variability in cell size, some are larger than normal and some are smaller than normal. In addition, cancer cells often have an abnormal shape, both the cell and the nucleus, the brain, of the cell. The nucleus appears both larger and darker than normal cells. The reason for the darkness is that the nucleus of cancer cells contains excess DNA. Up close, cancer cells often have an abnormal number of chromosomes that are arranged in a disorganized fashion. Evasion of the immune system. When normal cells become damaged, the immune system via cells called lymphocytes identifies and removes them. Cancer cells are able to evade, trick, the immune system long enough to grow into a tumor by either escaping detection or by secreting chemicals that inactivate immune cells that come to the scene. Some of the newer immunotherapy medications address this aspect of cancer cells. How do cells become cancerous? There are proteins in the body that regulate cell growth. Your DNA carries genes that are the blueprint for proteins produced in the body. Some of these proteins are growth factors chemicals that tell cells to divide and grow. Other proteins work to stop, suppress growth. I-like at i-share ang video na ito. Mag-subscribe na rin for more practical health tips at i-ring ang bell para updated ka sa mga susunod na videos.